If you're interested in creating stories, then let me take you on a little journey to introduce you to my YouTube channel. Hi there, I'm John Heffernan, an Australian author with national and international awards. I've actually been a farmer most of my working life, but over the last 20 odd years, I've also published more than 50 books, both in my own name and under a pseudonym. In this video, all I want to do is outline what you can expect to find in the various sessions I'll be creating as part of my YouTube channel. The first thing to expect is diversity. Why? Well, quite simply because stories come in a variety of forms. A huge variety, in fact. They can come as a song, a painting, a photograph, a poem, a tapestry, a, a play, a rap, a sculpture, a piece of music, a, a carving, an etching, a joke, a cartoon, the evening news, <laughs> the ravings and rantings of a cab driver, and so on and so on. Diversity is the crux of what stories are all about, and as such it will be a key feature in this channel. Of course, because I'm an author, quite a few of my sessions will focus on the literary form of the story in general, and on some of my specific books in particular. So you can expect to have readings of extracts from my novels, I'll look at novels such as Navi that deals with the friendship between an Hazari teenage boy and a young Australian soldier in war-torn Afghanistan. Hotika tracing the impact of the Japanese tsunami on three close friends. Harry's war and the secrets that some families keep. And Marty's shadow, a thriller about when the past won't leave you alone. I'll also do full readings with illustrations from my picture books. I'll look at books such as The Island, which deals with happiness, how to find it, and how to hold on to it. Two Summers, about the drought in Australia seen through the eyes of a young Australian farm boy, and My Dog, that follows a boy's search for his family in a war that tore a country apart. And I'll provide links to, as well as discussions about, the growing list of audio versions of my books that I'm in the process of narrating. So far, I've recorded audio versions of three books, Where the Smoke, based on a small rural town's battle against one of Australia's most ferocious bushfires, Spud, the story of a farm dog forced to become a wild dog, and A Horse Called Elvis, about how an orphan foal saves a dysfunctional family from self-destruction. I have at least another ten books to turn into audio versions down the track. I'll also provide a full raft of workshops and tutorials to help you hitch the power of the story to your particular creative cart. I'll treat topics like uh, the key elements of a good story, grabbing the reader's attention, developing a head for tales, making characters step off the page, mastering dialogue, suspense, action, seeding humour into your story, mixing light and dark, maximising authenticity and ensuring the reader's emotional involvement in your story, all key parts of creating stories. I will also uh, produce short sessions around what I call creative play, throwing ideas about, letting them go wherever they will, taking a relaxed, non-critical approach to creating story content. Connected with this are a couple of curious characters that I've already made some sessions around and will continue to do so. One of these is called Dr. Quarantine, a mask-wearing anti-Covid crusader who believes that he can croon out Corona. Hello there. Dr. Quarantine here. Dr. Warren Quarantine. Doing my bit in a bid to get rid of that evil COVID. You know, a lot of folk have been reaching out to me in these troubling times. Uh, this pandemic is draining the joy out of life, they say. What can we do, Dr. Quarantine? Help, please. Well, when I'm feeling low, 
I perk myself up with something as simple as a song. That's right, I sing the sadness away. And that is exactly what I think we should do with this nasty corona right now. Yep, let's cope with this COVID downslope by crooning that corona right out of our lives. Why don't you join me? Come along, chaps. Let's songify. The other character I have quite a bit of fun with is a cute little dude called Rex, a very small dinosaur with a huge attitude and an environmental message to match. Oh, g'day, guys. Rex is the name. Survival's the game. No, you're not imagining things. I am a dinosaur, a fair dinkum ridgy didge live dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Dinosaurs are extinct. Wrong. The big boys died out, sure. Whoa, mass extinction, dead ugly man. But a very small mob of very small dinosaurs hung on. We actually call ourselves tiny sores. And we've hung on ever since. <laughs> staying alive. <laughs> staying alive, yeah. Staying alive, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, well, like I said. Survival's the game. Which is why I'm here right now, actually, giving you homo sapiens a good ear bash. Two songs by the doc are already up and running on my YouTube channel, so have a look at them and give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Ditto for a session that's coming out with the little singing dinosaur, Rex. <laughs> there will definitely be other characters contributing to these sessions, if only because I believe the creative play has huge potential in developing story content and ideas. Finally, once I have this channel properly established, I will be encouraging contributions from others, from anyone out there. You see, I've reached a point in my career where I'd like to help others make their stories come to life. This channel is for anyone keen to harness the power of the story. But for now, I guess it's just goodbye and um, yee-haw.